What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Blaze X Inferno. And I'm Unite1117. You're listening to episode 66 of the Inferno Gaming Podcast. We're recording this episode 88. So August 8th, literally the date's supposed to come out. This was like, I, did, we dive, we, I mean, we dive in that in a minute. But if you're new to the mm-hmm. show, just know you can listen to us on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. Links in the description. Uh, make sure you guys check out our personal links. Also check out uh, my boy, um, blackguygames.com. Down below, that'll all be in the description for the video, video version or whatever I mean, podcast platform you're on. But also on Apple and Spotify, make sure you rate it five stars. Help us out. Get a show five stars, thumbs it up, whatever you got to do. YouTube, make sure you hit that like button, all that good shit. Now, this episode originally was going to be a music podcast episode. I was actually going to hit y'all with a double bubble this week. No lie. Y'all was going to get episode 66 and 67 in the same week, probably like a day apart, just to give y'all some time. Um, but I, th- things just happened, all right? So I fucking, I uh, woke up stupid late yesterday, man. Like, I literally was up for like 27 hours between Sunday and Monday morning. Jeez. So it was just like, I-, I came home from work, I ate for a little bit, watched some YouTube, caught up on current events and I went to bed and I didn't wake up till like 9 30 at night. So we were, me and him were supposed to record, um, in the afternoon, he's taking a flight this morning. Hopefully he's safe on his flight and stuff like that. He's going, he's going, he's going somewhere weird. I ain't going to tell y'all where he's going, but it's just, it just kind of blew my mind where he was going. I was like, why are you going there? But I mean, that's my guy, man. So shout out to Warren. We should have that out for y'all in two weeks. Maybe two weeks, maybe a month from now, depending on what gaming news comes out. Um, mm-hmm. This was this was kind of a good situation because there's a there's a good enough to talk about. There's a lot to talk about right now. I think within the gaming atmosphere um, to talk about um, to talk about what I've been playing for a little bit. Y'all already know if y'all follow me at twitch.tv. So it's Blaze X Inferno, where I stream like four days a week. It's really been like three lately, all right? It's, it's going to be three for a little bit. I don't think I'm going to be streaming on Saturdays as like consistently because it's like the end of the summer, and I've realized like the whole summer all I did was be in the house and play games. So I'm mm-hmm. actually going out and touching grass, doing stuff like that. Um, but I've been playing – um call of duty new season came out we'll talk about that in a little bit um i did leave something off the show notes i definitely did i gotta look at that um but um i've been playing some duty i've been playing final fantasy we just finished one of the best probably one of the best boss fights i've ever had in like gaming history i ain't gonna lie to you at least from a visual and theater the, the from that standpoint, I mean, just it looked really good, man. Like I've never, if you if you haven't seen me play Final Fantasy 16 yet on stream, don't worry, you can watch all of every stream is on YouTube. All eight of them that I've had so far, they're all up on YouTube. You got like twenty something hours of content to catch up on. I think even more than that because I think most of the episodes or the parts are like uh four three to four hours a piece so what's that three times eight is like it's 20 not good at math uh 24 so mm-hmm. y'all got it y'all got like 25 26 hours uh worth of of stream to watch man but it's worth it especially if you watch the last one part eight was fucking visually beautiful i i, I said it on stream i'm gonna just say it here i do think like Final Fantasy 16 is a very strong game of the year contender. It might be my game of the year. Might be my game of the year. Uh, mm-hmm. Starfield's coming out, so it's just kind of it. We got to see how bad Starfield fucks up. If it's if it's bugs and glitches, I can deal with that. It's a Bethesda game. We understand that. But if it's like unplayable, then Final Fantasy 16 is the winner. To be honest, man, it sounds like Baldur's Gate might also be. 
contender. Yeah, people, people, I'm gonna buy it. I am gonna buy the game. All right, I'm gonna mm-hmm. buy. It. I mean, I've been seeing a lot. Just got to put that streamer mode on because I mean, they show they show full genitals and, mm-hmm. and, and dick and balls and all that shit. So I mean, definitely, I want to stream it for y'all, um, especially since I've been streaming Diablo. Um, today I'll be streaming Diablo Four's first season, so that'll be cool. Um, but that's all I've been playing. Um, e night, what the fuck you been playing? I know I see you over there playing fucking uh, Rainbow Six Siege right now. The new season come out? No, I just jumped back into it just randomly because I was like, ah, I kind of feel like playing a game, but I don't feel like playing um, uh, like something that's gonna like a hundred percent distract me because I can just run around and die in this. But um, no, I've been playing. Halo Infinite, Halo MCC, of course. And New then, season of Infinite comes out, right? Uh, four is out. Um, Hill, I mean the fifth season, which is supposed to have uh firefight and the forgeable AI, um, Ooh. isn't supposed to come out till I think like either October, maybe. If I'm correct, correct, that might be what that might September, be. October. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm sorry you didn't come back for affection. I'm, I might. I, I've, I've, me and Coyote, shout my boy Coyote. We've been talking about it. He downloaded Infinite because it was free to play. Yeah. And, you know, I, I told him, like, because I have it on my Xbox. Like, it's just, it's just there. Like, it's always going to be there. I'm never going to get rid of it because I kind of bought my Xbox Series S to play Halo Infinite. So it's just one of those things. Like, I, I'm always going to have that game. So, I might, I might get back into it, man. I mm-hmm. might, I might jump on one of these Saturdays. We do like a little late night collab, do some Halo. I'll be down for that. I'll be down for. I'll be, I'll be down for that. I tell you that now. I'll be down for that. Okay, yes. okay. I love, I love firefight. That's my shit. I love, I love firefight, dog. Like you just saying that made me want to play ODST firefight so bad. Cause that shit was that shit was dope. Reaches was good too, but I, I like Reaches better. I think ODST ODST was fun. Was, it, it's just more. It was more. The stakes were a little higher. It felt like I mean, because you just weren't as strong and shit. But I don't know. What else you been playing, man? What else? I've been man? playing a bit of Battle Bit and uh, Starship Troopers. Battle Bit. That's another thing we got to talk about on this podcast. You know. Mm-hmm. Battle bit, yeah, man. Shout out to Battle Bit, dog. I played a little bit of that. I use it to like aim train on, really? on PC. Yeah, yeah. Cause I'm trying to I'm trying to get nice with mouse and keyboard, man. So I feel like that's a good game to aim train on. Cause it's just it it just seems like it's a very good game to do that on. So I mean my, the gunplay is really good. So. Yeah, it's very good. It's very good. Almost makes you think like, I mean. A certain game needs to step the game up. Okay. Which ones? Both of them. Call of Duty know. and Battlefield. Shit. Battlefield, I haven't touched since the last time we did Squad Up Saturday. Definitely should give it a, a try, man. I, I mean, I think it's hard to do when Battle Bit exists because it's 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 effectively what people wanted from Battlefield 2042 was just yeah. whatever Battle Bit was. Yeah. We got destructible environments. And you know. it's only three gigabytes. <laughs> That's because the graphics aren't like it's just like a Roblox game. Oh, but it, I appreciate that because fucking Battlefield is like what, like eighty something gigabytes. Yeah, Battlefield is is just too much for what they want, and then they do the seasons thing. Uh, I don't know. It's just another Battlefield was fun when it came out for a sec, and then the bugs and glitches and the the dumb game modes that. They tried to come up with the only thing I liked about Battlefield 2042 for real was the portal mode because I could play the older games. Yeah, I, the said, listen, for them. I, I keep it real with you. Definitely, I played it. What was that? Like maybe two, three weeks ago mm-hmm. on stream, and we we had I introduced some new people to the series, all that good shit, mm-hmm. and and they loved it, man. Like one thing about the new Battlefield that I really like is the movement, obviously. Mm. And I do I do like the gunplay, even though it feels like if you play a lot of Call of Duty, like the 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 especially on controller, like the aiming feels fucking weird on 
um, on on PS5, but yeah, you could you can fuck with the settings and shit. I've done that a little bit to make it feel smoother or smooth-ish, but it's mm-hmm. definitely it's definitely good. This season was pretty dope. I'm I'm liking it. I'm like I'm probably like 20, 25 on the battle pass, maybe around that area, around that range. Okay. Um, but um, yeah. Have you played? Still- have you played Marauders yet? No, I haven't. I want to. You definitely should, man. That that, that thirty dollar price tag is 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 scary though. I ain't gonna lie. For what? a game, it, for all right, and that that's gonna be the title of the podcast for you. I mean, just to you know, in hindsight, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's one of those things where I'm kind of scared that the game, the the community might fall off for it. I Bro. mean. Extraction shooters are the new wave, in my opinion. I feel like a lot of people do enjoy them and they want to play them. Mm-hmm. But it's one of those things where when you have Tarkov and Tarkov does everything that Marauders does mm-hmm. and it's been more solidified, I feel like a lot a lot more people are going to wind towards Tarkov. Plus, like, the space thing isn't, like, everybody's thing with Marauders and yeah, they have a weird like boarding thing. You can yeah, do. yeah. I mean, it's more my thing because I I definitely like that type of. Yeah, like, hell yeah, you would love it. But there's no um, tutorial either. So the only tutorial it's, you have it's, it's is to watch Tarkov. other people. Yeah, it's, <laughs> watch <laughs> other that's, people do it. That's it's just space Tarkov. Like that's 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 what I got from it, and I was like, oh, okay, I could get into this. Like especially since the whole cheating issue with um. Tarkov in the past, you know, people might be more inclined to go to this game since it might have like a more. It has an anti cheat, doesn't it? Yes. All right, so it might people might go to this instead of um Tarkov if they're they, they want to play a game like Tarkov, but they don't want to deal with like paying or dealing with like possible like crazy cheaters or whatever. I mean, there's yeah. always going to be cheaters, but I think that when that dude flipped the the switch on that video. He kind of just made a bunch of ignorant people who were actually having fun, not knowing that they were getting cheated against, um, aware of it. And a lot of people can like tend to quit the game because of that shit. Mm. Like that shit is literally the most annoying shit in the world. And like, and can force you to just not have a good time or it just ruins the, the, um, was it, was it, uh, ruins like the, the competitiveness of the game. Like, I didn't die. That dude's cheating. Like, you gotta second guess everything all the time. So, kind of, kind of the reason why Marauders existing is a good thing because then people can go to that and maybe they'll come back to Tarkov. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I I just looked at it now. I got two point eight hours in it, so I've I'm just over the threshold of the point where I can't return it not that i want to return it like trust me um the game i more so get frustrated with little things that i guess i'm used to because i'm a spoiled dmz bitch so it's like oh, I, yeah. so like there's a lot I'm, I'm assuming do you have to eat and drink in that or did they uh, nah, like, nah, uh, you, yeah, can, cool. you can and it it'll bring back your stamina but a, a match only lasts like 25 minutes so you're you're okay. yeah you're in and the fuck out like you can eat the food and stuff to um get your stamina back up because it does drop fairly well there's 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 aim stam arm stamina which is i think was a a, a tarkov thing so i was like what the fuck so aiming your gun um costs stamina uh everything you do costs stamina all right walking it's too all much good. I mean, everything costs stamina, dog. Um, I don't like when you fucking because you know I run it with people because I'm a, I'm a pussy. I mean, I may yeah. play I may play like two games by myself, and uh, I did pretty good. I ain't gonna lie, but I mean, it's only so good you could do by yourself. But um, I don't like when you die. It's just like all right, that's it. Like all right, back to the menu you go. It's like I can't even watch my friend do they thing and see if they get the fuck out like we, we just gotta 
I mean, we just yeah, got to mean, that's... clutch the fuck up. Like, ah, there's just no spectate. Like, where's the spectate? Yeah, I kind of wish there was spectating in um, the Tarko of style games but i understand why there isn't it's supposed to be like a hardcore immersive sim so like you you being alive after death and telling your teammate maybe maybe he doesn't see something on his screen and you you spot it out for him or whatever that makes sense that makes sense it's it's just like i think it's just like one of those types of like design decisions it's not like it's a bad thing that's not in there it'd be nice to see if your buddies get out but yeah you kind of just have to like I guess tune into their stream or like if they're streaming on Discord and watch that. Um but yeah, no, nah, so like I th- I think I think uh I think having these new new games and new communities is great, but like you're definitely not wrong. Like there's always that scary like, you know, I bought Boundary a while back and now there's like barely a population for it. And uh it's it it sucks cuz it's a good game, but there's nobody playing it really. Yeah, it's, it's sometimes it's that paywall, man. I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I it's mean, not because uh, sometimes a, a lot of times it's not, but uh, uh, most of the time I think it's it's that it's that 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 paying that paying like I mean even so, with this Marauders thing like it being like open at early access and stuff like that you yeah. never know like this game may never come the fuck out and I may never get the play. Uh, uh, a fully visualized version of Marauders. I do like what I see though. Like mm. you know, with the space combat. Well, trust me, we've we've breached a lot of people's ships. You know I mean, straight pirate style. You know mm. what I mean, we've we've done we in the two point eight hours I played. I feel like I've done enough to where I'm just like I like this game. I mean, to to keep on playing with all the dying that I've done. I've only extracted probably three times. I've probably played about. 12 games because i keep mm. fucking playing it like you know dmz i i run right in the room get to shooting and spraying and the, you know the, the 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 aiming is very particular just like it is in tarkov too like mm-hmm. with the with the uh yeah you not coil and you stuff go for like headshots you should be going for like um what's it called body uh, shots no uh no Limbs? Fucking, no your th- throat shots throat shots Uh-oh. throat shots because when you get shot in the throat, it's like an instant kill. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, Tar- uh, in Tarkov, at least. I don't know about Marauders. Yeah, but not so far, I've been, I've been liking it. I mean, hopefully you get it. So we got another person to, to play yeah, I might, with. I might pick it up a bit later. I'm kind of like, I, it's getting too close to Armored Core. It's when coming out come there. Out? The end of August, 24th, I think. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I'm getting that day one, but she'll be here to talk about it. So yeah, yeah, yeah I'm gonna I'm play the shit out of it before Starfield drops. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not buying nothing until Starfield <laughs> comes out. Like I got, I got Final Fantasy, which is taking a lot of my time. I just that's that's all I need, man. Mm-hmm. That's all I need. No, Unless, but but uh, uh, well, do you do you want to segue into the Gundam Evolution topic? Yeah, let's do it, it. man. Let's do it. So pretty much everything you say real quick, y'all. Everything that you say about like indie games with a thirty dollar price tag is is true. Like, you know, like there's always that risk that the community not be behind the game or that the population will be so small that it's not really like you can't really get fun games uh because it's like either not populating because nobody's on at the time or just like you know, just like shit like that. The problem is, is that sometimes it's not the gameplay itself because the game could be fun. It could be it's pretty much the service around the game. And uh, I feel like a perfect example of that is Gundam Evolution, which is a free to play game. Mm-hmm. Um, it's by Bandai Namco. So mm-hmm. it's like big name developer slash publisher. And uh, fucking they're shutting down the game at the end of the year. Pretty much around when it launched uh, last year or the year September. prior. Uh, no, November 29th. Is, well, November 29th, the, the day it ends, but mm-hmm. September 20, 2022 is when it, it dropped. Because it was, dropped like. The, it, it dropped it, early for us, and then it came out on Xbox and uh, PlayStation on, in November. Yeah, it, it dropped like two weeks before Overwatch came out. Pretty much. And it's. It's it's honestly uh, go ahead. 
I was saying just a little side comment. I mean, mm-hmm. if you go back and listen to the podcast where we probably talked about Call of Duty, because I know Call of Duty and Overwatch, we talked about that in like the same podcast. Mm-hmm. I literally said that Overwatch was going to be the end of this game. And it's sad. I don't say that in a good way. I say that in a fuck. They should have been dropped this game. They announced it like fucking eight, nine months before they even dropped it. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, and it's just, it's, it's sad, man. Yeah. It's, it's a shame because like, it's a very good competitor to overwatch and the style of gameplay that it does. It's, it's a mecha game. So it's, it's a lot of fun. Obviously, you're not going to have any thirst traps in the mecha game, but like it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, essentially, the problem is is that the service around it sucks ass, and it sucked ass from launch. And when we thought we could just earn currency to earn characters, uh, it turns out that you couldn't. It, you had like a limited. You had a bunch of like beginner and veteran quote unquote challenges to complete. And you would get a small amount of in-game currency. And we, we thought, oh, maybe this is resetting every seat. Nope, never came back once you beat it. You only got enough uh, currency to buy, like, one one new mech. Um, and after that, you pretty much had to grind out the battle pass to its completion to get currency. And now, you know how, like, they space out, like, the, the, the game, the actual money currency in the battle pass, like, by 100? and stuff yeah. they didn't do that here they just have like two specific points one in the towards the beginning one towards the end of in-game currency with like a certain amount like i think it was a thousand so like in total you got two thousand in-game currency for an entire season um to unlock a new character and i think unlocking a new character was around like 16 18 100 currency mm-hmm. so pretty much the same issue star wars battlefront had when they had their whole like uh uh loop crate thing where it's like you couldn't just outright like earning game currency as you played you had to uh uh essentially buy the currency through loot boxes or whatever um but in this case you just had to basically just pay for it outright like you know what i mean like you 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 either grinded out the battle pass which if you didn't pay for it, it took forever to do um and if you did pay for it, it's like, oh man, like, you know, you got one extra challenge thing to to help you along, but most of the challenges were locked behind characters you can unlock unless you pay money for it. Yeah. So man. that 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 whole fucking shit handicaps your progression, makes you not want to actually play the game because you're not unlocking any of the new characters you actually want to try out, um, and then makes it makes it getting excited like i mean bk would be excited for the new season in in the beginning because we were like oh man that's a cool gundam i want to unlock that and play that and it's like no no it's it's too late because pretty much i think after season two i was like yeah i don't want to play this game like that anymore uh mainly because i can't play any of the new characters and the people that can get the characters are like just kicking your ass so it was a very it pretty much became pay to win at that point essentially or essentially pay to participate oh, or shit. try or whatever you want to call it yeah because while there was a way to unlock characters it was very very heavily incentivized that it was like you had to pay for for, for new characters like with money like just straight up and Damn. that that alone can kill a free to play game like Gundam without the price tag had we had to pay for it it probably would have been wor- like a worse backlash it's like i paid like 40 60 dollars um to play this game with just multiplayer no pve or anything like that and um you're making me pay more money to unlock characters like what the fuck you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that that would that makes no sense. So like this game I think would have did well had the service around it been better. And I also think had they not just focused on um PvP but also brought in some PvE elements to it, I think it would have been a, a like a really good game. I think it, it suffers the same uh issues 
uh, that Overwatch 2 is going through right now with mm -hmm. like just how you get characters and shit. I mean, I grant it, Overwatch 2 is a lot easier to get characters. But the new characters being locked essentially behind the paywalls is, 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 is the problem. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, um, I really like this game, man. I really did. But the, 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 I, I, I literally said it. There's literally a podcast of me saying, mm -hmm. I, I, I hope that Overwatch does not fucking kill this game because it, it's just there's a lot of problems that Gundam had in a, and and this is going to be a problem that a lot of games do have moving forward and number one was that Gundam Evolution wasn't cross play that's what for me honest to God made it like almost DOA like mm -hmm. once Overwatch came out because it's like as much as I like Gundam and all that shit, it's like, I want to play with my other friends. And a lot of my other friends that do like Gundam and do want to play this only have PlayStation or only have Xbox. So it's just one of those things where it was like, it not having cross-play, like, essentially just, again, like, just in, in my mind, like, why would we play that when we could play Overwatch, which was cross-play, literally mm -hmm. cross-play on PC, console fucking nintendo switch yeah i mean it's it's all the way cross play man it just it made no sense why they made that move like who 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 authorized that move you know, you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. um secondly was its release date like i said um them them dropping so close to a game that is just like it and 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 not only has that fa that initial fan base just from the fact that it of what it is. I mean, not saying that Gundams aren't popular, but it's one of those things where I feel like Overwatch is definitely a lot more popular when it comes to shoot like shooters than like a Gundam game was mm -hmm. or would be. Um, yeah, Overwatch already had a whole base compared and, to um uh Gundam in general, like in terms of the gaming scene, because up until this point, the only other Gundam game that I'm aware of that just came to PC and battle has operations been out, too. battle operations, yeah, yeah, uh, and, and yeah. that's just because it's big in in Japan. Like that game is big in Japan, mm -hmm. and it's like, like it's, it's like a mobile game essentially. Yeah, it's it's fucking huge, dog. Like, but I actually I played that this. when it when it first came out on PS4. I played, I played it last it for night. A little bit. And if you still have more access to more characters in that game than you do in Gundam Evolution. So like Sad. Yeah, so there's that's that's what I feel like is a problem is that you have lack of access to different play styles um when it comes to the the, the characters because you, you spend that moolah, which Yeah, is... and I'm and to be honest, I'm not spending a lot of money on a game that like I don't want to spend money yet. I wanna pick my main character and play them. And yeah, then, and then yeah. go from there. Um, yeah, man. Ease of he, access. Listen, ease of access is a motherfucker with these with these gaming companies, and they and they don't understand. It. They mm -hmm. don't understand that just allowing somebody to passively play your game, just passively, just 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 enough to where it it it, it scratches that itch every once in a while, makes them more makes them more inclined to spend money. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that is a fact. That is that is literally a proven fact. Yes, you know what I mean? Like, all right, take me with Call of Duty, for example. I play a lot of Call of Duty, so of course I have no problem spending $30 on the Battle Pass, buying the Nicki Minaj skin, buying this skin, buying that skin, doing this. Do I play it enough to where the 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 what I'm I'm putting out, it warrants that in my mind like i'm like all right like that's cool to me like i'll spend that money you know i mean i'll spend i'll i'll spend that money because i look at it i have almost 500 fucking hours in in modern warfare 2 and the game came out last year like you know what i mean it's just i i played that much so at the end of the day it it, it, it you you would expect me to drop 20 30 dollars you know, buy cop points do this you can't expect somebody Who's got an hour or two of game game time, or 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 only puts in five to six hours 
a month on a game to be like, yeah, I can spend ten dollars on this or I can spend twenty dollars on that. Mm-hmm. Ease of access is everything. If you just allow me to passively play your game, right? A, a good example of this, right? Not take away from what you were saying, mm-hmm. but a good example of this is a game that is is also dead. Rest in peace to them too, because that was a really good game. It was Spellbreakers. Spellbreakers was a fucking a, a battle royale magic based game, and it it did things really good, man. With like the elements and stuff. I really, really fucking liked that game. It felt comfortable on Switch. It felt really good on console. It was it was fun, dog. It was very fucking good. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. so I I always. I never felt like bad, like, all right, I mean, let me spend ten dollars on this. Let me buy this five dollar skin. Let me buy that. Let me buy this. Because even though I was paying playing it very passively, I enjoyed myself. So it didn't it it it, it didn't matter if I spent five, ten dollars. That's cool. I can do that. But when you're just from the gate being like, this is what you can do unless you give me money, it just fucks everything up, man. Fucks everything up. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Uh, take Final Fantasy f- 14, uh, for example. Y'all saw, if, y- if y'all do watch my streams and stuff, y'all saw, you know, I, I, I'm i picking that game up again for the third time, third try, new character. Um, we going to grind it all the way out to 60, see if we like it. And if we do, we're going to buy the subscription, buy the expansions, do all that shit. So I'm just kind of like in a Final Fantasy mood right now. And it's like... I feel like I need an MMO. And I've been saying that for a while. Like I have Black Desert. Shout out to Dagon for getting me that. Uh, not Black Desert. He got me uh the other one. Uh what's the pirate? The pirate one. New World? Uh, the Am New World. He got me New World. Shout out to him for that. Pirates? I mean, aren't you like a the pirate? You know, no. you're like a pirate when you land. You're an explorer. Whatever, man. You know I mean? <laughs> it's the same shit. You know what I mean, I like that. I like that. I'm just, I'm scared that it's gonna fucking destroy my plate, my my PC. So I'm like, all right, I don't want to play it like that. But I do like it. Black mm-hmm. Desert Online is a game I really fucking like. It's M. It's probably would be my my favorite MMO if if every season I didn't have to make a new character. I don't like that. I do not like that. Like it, with an, it, it works on Diablo. I don't think it works on an MMO game where I'm supposed to, you know, build this character and mold this character and all this shit. So mm-hmm. it's like I'm, I'm trying to play Final Fantasy 14 for that because I feel like I I'm, I need an MMO that's consistent, something that's fun, something that has a lot of skills, so I can you know wood cutting all that 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 shit I like. And and fucking Elder Scrolls is online is good, but it's. It's fucking boring, man. Like this, the the side quests suck, dick. Like it's just, uh, it's boring. I mean, yeah. I like it. The PvP is awesome. The combat's amazing. Um, I don't like, I just, it's boring. People are telling me to go back to Lost Ark. They say Lost Ark is good. No, I might. I just, I, 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 <laughs> Stop! Don't don't. From what don't. I heard, I heard pe- people keep telling me to go back to Lost Ark. No 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 no. Stay yeah. stick with Diablo. We do, you don't need to you know you get sucked yeah. into that pay to win but, shit. Yeah, I mean, where I was going with this was Final Fantasy fourteen offers a free trial, but the free trial literally bars you from things that stop it from being an MMO. You know, I think the biggest thing about an MMO game is it's massive, it's multiplayer, and it's online. You know mm-hmm. I mean, it's MMO. You know what I mean? So when you're in this big world and you're telling me I can't interact with people the way I want to in an MMO, it's like, damn, dog. Like, you just kind of, like, you just shot yourself in the foot, man, trying to make a sale. You're trying to, you're so focused on making a sale that you're not thinking about the, 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 the players' engagement with the game. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. I can't make parties because I'm not. I'm I'm on a free trial, right? Mm-hmm. I can't add people to my friends list because I'm on a free trial. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is the point of me playing it then? If 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 you're telling me I can't enjoy the game that I uh, the way I want to enjoy it, why would I? Why would I feel comfortable and be like, yeah, let me spend fifteen dollars on this? You know, a counter argument could be. Well, you buy some games for sixty dollars, and then you don't like them, and you you don't you drop them or you don't play them. But that's I feel like that's different. You're you're give I'm like 
it's it's just a totally different argument. I feel like with games that go free to play, there needs to be a a there, there's there's a grasp. You there's a grasping period. All right, there's mm-hmm. a grasping period. You know what I mean? Mobile games do it right. I'm not going to lie. Mobile games do it right. A lot of them are like, yo, we're going to make the player feel like they're powerful, make them feel like they're doing good, make make them feel like the game is easy, make them feel all of this before we start putting the paywall on them, start asking them for money, this, that, and the third. We're going to allow them to engage with the product first, see how they like it, and then be like, okay, uh, I, I feel like making a purchase. With Gundam, I felt like, and even with my my very short experience with playing the game, it was like literally from day one, it was like spend money, yep. spend money. You want to look cool, spend money. You want to do this, spend money. You want you want to try that Gundam out that is literally meta right now and and killing everybody. Money. It's like, damn, dog. Like, you ain't even give me a chance to see if I like this. If this is going to be a game I can dump fucking eight hours a week into or four hours a week into. I mean, you didn't even give me the chance. So you just like shot yourself in the foot without even without even allowing me to to have that engagement time to be like, oh, I enjoy this. You know what I mean? It's just, mm-hmm. and I think that's the and, and and we're gonna talk about that a lot on this podcast. But I do think that's the problem, and and we keep seeing it with all of these games. You know, mm-hmm. we, we keep talking about Sunset, Apex Mobile. Uh, we were supposed to talk about this on the last podcast, but that uh that that game, the Cycle Frontier, which is an extraction shooter, that's sunsetting. There's mm-hmm. so many games sunsetting, and I don't think I don't think it's because people don't like the game. I just think a lot of these free to play games, they're they're in it. And, and I get it because it, it's it costs a lot of money to develop a game. It costs a shit ton of money to develop a game. But I think mm-hmm. the first thing you need to think about, whether you're making a paid game or a free to pay game, is think about the player's enjoyment number one, dog, because that is going to make people pull out their wallet. Like I'm mm-hmm. gonna pull out my wallet and anything I like in Call of Duty because I know I'm gonna I'm, I know I'm gonna put that time in. I know I'm going to enjoy the game. I know I'm going to be playing it. I know I'm about to put another 50 hours into the game mm-hmm. between now and, you know, the next game. It's just like, dog, like, it, 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 there's no – I have no problem with spending that money. No mm-hmm. problem. Because the, 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 I, I, I want the content because I'm going to be able to experience that content. Yeah, I mean, well, a lot of these free-to-play games, it's like you buy the battle pass, and then what do you do? You go play something the fuck else. You yep. know what I mean? So it's just like, it's like, damn, I bought that, and I didn't even get to enjoy it, and now it's a whole nother season. So that battle pass I just bought, I didn't complete it. I didn't get anything from it. You know what I mean? Shout out to Apex Legends season 17 or whatever the last season was. I didn't fucking, I got the tier 11. $10 tier 11. I mean, I got 10, 10 fucking rewards. You know what I mean, it's just each it, one costs you a dollar. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, I guess if, if you want to look at it like that, but it's, it's just one of those things where it's like, make the player's enjoyment. The very first thing that you, that you think about when you make a game. Not so it's not about, about, it's not about having a, a tier of progression. It's about having fun. Right. Yeah, of course. I know where you're going with this. Go ahead, <laughs> go ahead, dog. Go because ahead, man. I, I like, but that's that's kind of going back to that old argument you and me and Julio <laughs> had. It's if the game's not fun, you're not going to spend money, right? And it's it's I hate, I hate this motherfucker, man. But you know I'm right. That's what that's that's what I've been saying the whole time. Like it's it's it, you can have a great progression system, but if the game is fucking annoying and shit to play, then I'm not going to play it. Like that's. And if you're going to bar all the progression behind a paywall, I'm not going to play it. Look at Gundam. Look at all these games that are sunsetting shit. Fucking if Halo had a fucking paywall for any any of the shit that, like, any of the game modes that they had or any of the game modes that the players created, I would not be playing that shit. See, the problem with Halo, though, is, right, mm-hmm. the, pr- the problem with, with Infinite, though, and, and I feel like Halo, I feel like Julio made his point mm-hmm. on that podcast, and he told you the the difference between a game like Gundam Evolution 
in Halo Infinite is that Halo is an established fucking franchise, dog. It's an established franchise. It's it's it, we 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 know what we're coming to with Halo, especially mm-hmm. with Halo multiplayer. We want to look cool, all that. When you lock that that literal thing, yeah, you know I mean that's been established in the franchise. Since mm-hmm. like 2007, it's a it's a big deal, dog. That's yeah. a big deal. That's a big fucking deal, dog. That's a big fucking deal. It's it's different. It's different if fucking Gundam Evolution does it because like what the fuck? I mean, Gundam is an established franchise anime wise, but it's not an established you know franchise game wise. I mean, at least. Not to my knowledge, I don't. I, I don't mean, it, know. mobile operations is a different style of game, but yeah, no, it's it, it's not as like widely known here in the states. I mean, yeah. It's more popular over in Japan. It's just the thing is, is that you're talking about cosmetics, but I'm talking about straight gameplay. Gundam locks literal progression of playing characters, which is you know fucking yeah. gameplay. Yeah, you know, I, if you want to play the that's fucking true. medic class, you have to pay money. It's like yeah. you have to want to play that new Gundam that just came out. You have to pay money or just grind out the battle pass nonstop. And it's like that's not that's not a progression system that I can get behind. And it's not fun to progress like that. It is a grind. It is boring. It is annoying as shit. Yeah, and it makes dog. me not want to play the game, which is why they're probably fucking tanking this entire game. I mean, like with Halo, yeah, the cosmetic thing with Infinite. Is is a direct result of it? It's multiplayer going free to play, but at the same time, it's not hindering the progression of gameplay. Like pretty much every fucking new game mode that essentially has been established with Halo Infinite has been available from the moment it's dropped. It's That's there's true. literally nothing stopping you from playing Infection, playing uh, Escalation Slayer, playing anything like that that they have quote unquote come out with. The only problem with Halo Infinite is that since it was an established franchise and a lot of these were established game modes and shit, it should have been there day one, which is the main issue the community had with Halo Infinite. Had mm-hmm. nothing to do with the progression system of the Battle Pass. That was just another fucking issue on, on top of the fucking shit pile of cake when that game launched. So, like, it really is just the progression. If it bars you from gameplay, I'm not going to want to play it. Like, there's... There's shit like Battlefield where it's like you're progressing to unlock something to get that better gameplay experience. And then there's shit like Gundam or Overwatch where you can't play an entire character, which is a whole like style of gameplay, especially if it's a new character that became the meta in like two seconds because it just launched. Like it, you're, you're getting your ass handed to you by something you can't even use unless you're paying money or like putting thousands of hours into the game. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's why I do like the way that Overwatch handles the uh, the new heroes. They just throw them in the battle pass and say, you know, work for it. Yeah, I feel I feel like that's an easy that's an easy fucking trade off, dog. Like, I mean, it's 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 not for me per se because I hate the fact that you still need to like buy the battle pass to progress faster. And if you really want the character to just to play from day one, which is what most people want to do. You have to actually like just just drop a cup a bag just to progress the tier fifty by buying the tiers and shit. So like it's That's not tier fifty. I think it's like tier fifteen or thirty. It was tier fifty when they first launched it, but then again yeah, I haven't played season, Overwatch season in a minute. One, yeah, season one. The new season comes out soon. I think new characters about to come out. I played it like a week ago and like I I keep it real with you. Shout out to Overwatch, dog, because they they constantly get hate for that game, and I feel like they are still constantly doing things to improve the game and keep mm-hmm. it going. Um, I definitely got to start scheduling that back on streams again because I ain't gonna lie, I might I might I might make an appearance in Overwatch again next season. I know a lot of my like close friends that I stream with hate it, but I I fucking love Overwatch. I think it's a dope game. Um, but I do think this is the, the, like I said, another game. We literally just, we literally just watch die. You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, how many games did we say this year? I mean, Ubisoft had fucking seven of them that they they canceled. You know what I mean, it's just, there's so many yeah. games. It's, it's still not the same as like it coming out. And then it's it, not. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. But I'm just, I'm just saying. Like, I, I think this free to play thing. We need we need to figure it out, dog. We need to figure it out. 
I don't think we we need to figure out anything necessarily. I think it's just certain games it works for and certain games it doesn't. I don't think Gundam Evolution would would have been great as a uh I think if if it was if we kept everything the same and it released for a $60 title, I don't think Gundam Evolution would be um be be any any like it I think it would die the same way it's died now. Like I think yeah. it really depends on how they set up the service. Yeah. You set up the service to where you're the only thing you're really paying for is a battle pass and maybe like some um like cosmetics here and there, maybe uh like a like even even fucking Gundam Evolution had its own loot crate system. So like it's not a bad thing as long as it's only fucking cosmetics. Like I don't really care if you're gonna like drop a bag on a bunch of cosmetics for a game and it'd be through through their uh through their loot crate system. Like that's that's your choice. You do that. If you have an, a th- an addiction with gambling or some shit, then you probably should call someone about that. Yeah, but man. Fucking. Yeah, if, I think they're them and fucking Apex. The only two people I know that. The pro- I think the problem with Gundam is that they had three fucking game modes from launch. Didn't make any new ones. They had maybe one or two new maps from launch that they added to. Some of them played like shit. Some of them didn't. Um, there's like basically no TDM in that game. There's no objective based games besides domination and and uh plant the bomb um r- ranked is terrible because you get slapped by teams of 6 when you're playing with all randoms like there's no a- real MMR system with that it, it, it's just like all right it'd be like you know the only if i i'll make this argument even though Julio is not here cuz I, I feel like if Julio was here he'd probably be able to correct me on some things, but if Siege came out and it didn't have the destruction that it had, I feel like that game would have died like years ago. Yeah. Because it's it's straight up is the only thing that keeps that game fresh to a certain point. Um is the destruction of the maps. Otherwise it would have been this uh, another tactical hero shooter like uh fucking like I, I guess Valorant or something like that. Yeah you know I mean But yeah, it's. I just don't think. I don't think that uh, Gundam would have survived it with a full sixty dollars price tag. I don't think. I don't it would have think changed so anything. either. I don't think so either. I just think that the game it it, it failed in places that it it, it in twenty twenty three dog. Like I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. Mm-hmm. The standard going forward, literally. <laughs> yeah, but the standard going forward is crossplay, dog. Yeah. If you get if your game don't have crossplay, it's just it's 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 fucking weird to me, dog. It's fucking weird. Like Remnant 2, right? Yeah. I'm very interested in that game. Not gonna lie. I mm-hmm. wanna buy it. I think I will buy it. I probably will copy it next week or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, I like it a lot, but what I don't like is that if I want to play with my other friends on other platforms, I can't do that. I can't do that in a game that is like Destiny, where it's 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 all about doing things with your friends and shit. Like I I feel like we're we're at this point in gaming where whatever platform you're on, it does not fucking matter as long as I can play with you. That's it. As long as I can play the fucking game with you, I don't care what fucking system you're on. Mm-hmm. Okay? It's just, it just I feel like there needs to be a standard and if the problem with evolution was when that shit finally came out on console I, I told my boy crazy I'm like yo download that shit we on that we about to have mad fun and then we looked it up and it was like yeah no cross play and we, we don't even have any plans to even do that it's like what why not why the fuck not yeah I don't know why I don't know why a lot of like I can understand like with console or brand exclusive games like fucking PlayStation and shit like Halo is not going to be on PlayStation that's just how it's going to yeah. be for right now yeah. but uh, to it but a multiplat should always be cross play unless it's like a an indie game that doesn't have the resources to do that it's it, it should just be cross play off the rip like that's that's why I was like when the the Xbox and the PlayStation players came out um, for Evolution, it launched like a two weeks later. Um, I was like, oh, the player base is gonna increase because it's it's a free to play game that's pretty cool to play on console. And it's like, no, it's not cross play. So there's really no increase in population. 
and then they yeah. merged they merged the american servers with the Jap japanese servers i believe so because there was such a low low population count um at least for the pc players i don't know if they did that for the console players they might have um which you know if you can do that why don't you just make it crossplay like that it doesn't make any sense to me but essentially now i'm getting games where the guy i'm shooting at has a shit crazy high ping and is, is not there anymore because it's like an after image like so i'm getting stomped on by like dudes from japan <laughs> and shit like it's just it yeah. the game wasn't i feel like the game was an experiment by bandai namco to see if they can capitalize on the hero shooter aspect of gundam um and i think they just failed with how they they their target audience is just i don't think it's meant for us here in the states i think it's more meant for the people over in japan it but might it, be but at the at the same time like i don't know even, even they got to be complaining like dog like why can't i do this like, why can't why do i have to spend money to to enjoy a pro like it's like the same thing with destiny right we talk about destiny all the time with uh the new light expansion they came mm -hmm. out with it's like destiny is free to play quote unquote that's why mm -hmm. i tell all of free my friends try. i'm like it is literally free to try you you have one literal one quest you can do to get yourself started you can play crucible you can play strikes that is it you can't you can't take it no events no nothing just crucible strikes that one quest that's it it's all this, you got this is kind of why i don't like destiny like in general anymore because like you're kind of like i feel like a certain amount of like content should be just free off the rip if you're going to be a free-to-play game mm -hmm. like the new shit obviously locked behind the paywall all right new expansion mm -hmm. is what it is right but like don't have major story arcs and then and then the worst thing about destiny the thing i hate about games nowadays is the fucking ads as soon as you open the game yeah. like give me a little like call of duty does this shit like i think overwatch will do it destiny for sure will sit if you're a free to play player you get hit with ads non-stop like like i i remember when i turned on destiny for like the first time in a while and i didn't even buy this shit yet i just wanted to play it and then fucking literally add for this add for eververse add for the new expansion add for the old expansion add for the other expansion add for this raid add for that it's just like bro i don't care like let me play the game like i don't give a fuck about your ads like i hate that shit so much like why are you putting ads like it's yeah, okay damn. to have like a pop-up once in a while if i'm a free-to-play player but like if you're gonna spam me every time i'm fucking launching the game i'm gonna stop playing but I'm you, not know gonna... the thing, you know the thing about Destiny that, that is successful, though? Is that it is literally the paradigm of what all of these free-to-play games try to be. I literally watched a YouTube video about it. I wish I could quote who it was by. Shout out to that person. But he was literally saying, the, 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 I think the title of the video was like, Why Destiny 2 Ruined, ruined Gaming? And it was it was it was basically that because the title like took me off. I'm like, what the fuck did Destiny Two do of all fucking games? Like, what did Destiny Two do? Popularized the looter shooters as a live service. It, it it no it it popularized live services in in a way that a lot of these other games try to recreate. Mm -hmm. but can't look at Anthem. Look at look at anthem is the best exam he talks about anthem that entire video like ea all they saw was what the fuck activision because they don't have them anymore but what they once had i mean which was bungie and saw like damn how the fuck can we get that because that shit is making mad money and people like it and and how do we get that but they didn't put the they didn't put the destiny soul into it. You know what I mean, the mm -hmm. destiny soul into it, whatever soul it does have, but it didn't put like destiny has a lot of tropes in it that make it the, 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 like I said, the paradigm free to play game. Like it, it, it has all, it has addictive gameplay, which is the yeah. number one thing. It's very, the, 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 the gameplay is super addictive. It's one of those things where it's like, 
I had to literally, when he was saying it, he was like bringing up an example. He was like, yo, how many times did you just like, you know, run the same activity because you could possibly get something? I was like, holy shit. Like, damn. Like, you never think about it. Yeah, but it's, it's like typical they, MMO trope. Tro- yeah. Like, yeah. But I feel like they found a way to literally do it right to where the point where, because it's like with a lot of these free to play games, they're like, okay, if you want it for free, grind but it's like the grind is so miserable where it's just like it, it just makes me like halfway through it like bro like where's my wallet at you know what I mean like one thing about it like I will never talk shit about this game because I appreciate what it did especially me when I first got my PS4 and that's Warframe mm-hmm. Warframe is a game I feel like does the free to play shit very well but does the progression like terribly dog like the dog it takes forever to grind shit out in that game yeah that, that shit forever. turned me off when i started playing it and i was like yeah the concept's cool but like this i don't know what to do i don't know i like i feel like i have to like look up shit to, just to understand yeah, what's yeah, going on yeah, it, it, and just when, like that. when you get to that point in your game what off the rip like off the gate of playing it then it's like I'm going I'm just going to go this way. Like Yeah, there's there's a lot with Warframe like I, like I said I'm not even talking bad about it because I appreciate Warframe so fucking much cuz it's like I I love that game. I logged into it maybe like 2 weeks ago to try it out a, re- a little bit, see the new shit. I I instantly got bombarded with new things that I had no understanding of and how to do it and when to start, but like I said, the new expansion for that game, which is like a totally different new character, new story arc, everything is completely free from the from the gate. So that's why I always said like Warframe is like to me is what an ideal free to play game looks like. Because one, they listen to the community, which is number one. Number two, it's now cross play. And number three, there's a shit ton of content. There's a lot to do. The only downside of Warframe, if you do want to open that can of worms, is the grind is ridiculous. Like, the grind. I remember just trying to get my first Warframe, which is the Rhino Warframe, mm-hmm. took me forever, though. I'm like, bro, why? And, and and it has mobile things in it. So it's like, it has, like, real-life timers. So it's like, when you're crafting something, that it has a real-life timer. I, I hate that shit so much. That is that is why I hate mobile gaming. Like that that mechanic that that will well, too much. I don't you don't mind, mind it if you have other shit to play, but if it's like I just want to play this game only right now, it's it's annoying as shit. It is like it's weird. It's weird because Hogwarts has it. It's fucking weird as shit because it's a it's a single that. player game with no micro trans- transactions whatsoever. But when you're like growing like plants and shit, it yeah. has a time or like you're making a potion. It has a literal timer on it. Well, is it like a 24 hour timer? Nah, I, I, I haven't seen anything crazy yet. I've okay. seen like five minutes. Yeah, 10 that's minutes, the thing I hate about minutes. mobile games. Like, yeah, that's 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 like no different than like actually doing a task in Skyrim where you mine a node. Like, it takes like 15 seconds to mine a node or some shit. Like, the the fucking the timers I'm talking about are like literal 24 hours until this is complete. Like, real ga- in game uh bullshit. Like, it's it's not fucking um like five minutes you gotta wait come back or like just press the wait button wait wait an in-game hour which is like a second and then come back like type shit like it's it's literally it's literally like real time yeah skip it type shit yeah, like warframe was was i remember i was trying to get the thing to get to get my first pet in that game and it was like i had to craft something and that mm-hmm. shit was like, oh yeah, it'll be done in like eight hours. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I was like, <laughs> I was like, bro, what the fuck? Like, yo, know, this yeah. is crazy. But shout out to Warframe because besides the grind, there is a ton of content that they don't lock behind any any paywalls. Like when I remember when TDM and like all the like PvP shit came out, like that was totally free to play. There's open world in that game now, like where you could go to look certain planets and it's completely open world. That's free. That's free. Like you don't have to do anything. And then, like I said, they just came out with a new expansion, which is supposed to be like, I guess, like the before the Tenno become the Tenno. 
You know I mean, like when they're just like actually still human and shit, it's a whole nother, another, it's basically a game within the game. It's, it's, it's crazy dog. It, and it's all free. So it's like shout out to Warframe because again, Warframe is one of those games where it's like, if I wasn't, if I did play it a lot, I would have a, a, a like not a problem spending ten dollars here, twenty dollars there, doing this, doing that because it's just you you've already given me so much content. But mm-hmm. when you literally just lock me behind like four characters and say, okay, you play these four characters, but the the two that are locked is is locked behind a paywall and they're fucking meta. You know I mean, it's just like, bro, it's like get the fuck out of here, man. You're not even giving me a chance to like really like see really see yeah like really see the potential of the gameplay of the game like it's it's kind of stupid that it's like that's that's now what games are it's yeah you want to play the game that's free to play game you actually have to pay money i'm like that's like saying oh there's a free free app on the app store and you download it it's like all right we'll put your credit card in and we'll start your free trial i was like what i thought it was free not free trial yeah Yeah, i mean I do want to go back briefly to the Final Fantasy thing. I know that you said it's like it's annoying as shit that the MMO mechanics of the game are like locked behind the sub, but I think they do that so to prevent spamming because the free trial you do can progress to the game to like yeah, hell, oh 60. yeah level there's sixty a, yeah this is yeah. a big hell big yeah. section of the game you, Fuck, can, fucking you right, play the dog, whole yeah. main story for free that, essentially that's what that's what yeah that's what turned me on I was like I was like dog you essentially get the the base game entirely for free and, and the you, base game is huge like I mean it's just like I was like all right I got no problem with that but again it's one of those things where it's just like you're more of a social gamer. I'm not. I'm more yes. of a solo gamer. So yes. like, it didn't bother me that much, but it'll bother you because you can't play with your friends like that. Yeah, because it's like, dog. Like me and Gundar try to add each other, and mm-hmm. it just kept popping up in the middle of the screen. Like, oh, can I add friends on a free trial? I'm like, all right, well, I'll just invite you to a group. It was like, yeah, can you I need to have like a, someone that has you both as like. Yeah, we yeah. we got we got Angel for that. Shout out to Angel. You know what I mean, who's got three characters up to level eighty, which is insane, or ninety because. Yeah. I mean, it's just I, look, man. Rest in peace to Gundam Evolution. You will be missed. I I called it. I I'm literally doing, called it. Me and BK want to do like a in memoriam stream for it before it goes. So we're gonna try and set that up towards that towards November. All right, I'm down for that. See if we Definitely can down for that. Maybe we'll maybe we'll save the game. JK, I'm just I. Yeah, it's not. just it's just I want to play the game one last time before it go fucks off forever. Yeah, because the game is good, man. Like that's the that's the craziest part about it. Is like it it wasn't like terribly unbalanced at release. Mm. It was it was very fun to play, man. It was just the things that I needed it to do, it just didn't do. Like shout out to whoever it was at Blizzard that said this. I think it was on the show notes for the last podcast or podcast before, but I didn't I didn't bring it up. But mm-hmm. it was like it's basically one of the developers saying that like you could play Diablo four like passively, like you don't have to worry about like playing it every week. There's no like weekly like this, that, and the third. Like you don't have to log in every week or you'll miss out on your. It's like play the game passively, and I think that set off like a bell in my head where it's like I'm at this point, like you know, a couple, you know. You go back a couple months, a couple podcasts, you know, we were talking about how I buy like literally every battle pass in every game that I got. Mm -hmm. So I never get a chance to complete them. Now I literally only buy like two battle passes for two games and I complete them within. I beat the the season four of fucking Call of Duty. I had that shit done in 10 days. Had that shit literally done in 10 days. So it's like there's only two games that I buy you know, the season passes for, and it's, it's allowed me to be like, okay, let me put my time into these two games. Cause I'm playing them the most instead of like, all right, I got one for apex, one for battlefield, one for Diablo, one for overwatch. It's like, I'm not going to play all these fucking games. Mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not going, I'm not going to play all these fucking games. And it's like, the one thing I'll tell you guys, the listener is, you know, play, always play what you want to play. Number one, but most importantly, Play things in moderation, dog. Because like I said, I think 
where I'm at with Destiny right now. Nah, binge it till you hate it. Yeah, I think where I'm at with Destiny is like I binge that game so fucking much the past two seasons where mm-hmm. it's like I don't I don't want to even play it though. Like I don't even want like I can't right now because the game is corrupted on my PlayStation. I have to do like this rebuild database shit that I'm just I'm too lazy Damn. to I'm too lazy to hold down the fucking power button on my PlayStation. I don't know why I'm like this, but I'm like this, all right. I just, I and plus I'm not playing it like that, so it just doesn't bother me that it's just sitting there and I can't do anything with it. Mm-hmm. But I will say, like, just play things passively, dog. You do not have to complete and buy every fucking battle pass. Just buy a battle pass or two for the two games you play the most, and that's it. I got three battle passes. Now that hey, I think and, about it, I have to, I went from lucky, two to three. If you're and, lucky, the games games will start just not expiring battle passes, and you'll just won't have to worry about it anymore. Or you'll save those coins that you get in most of these battle passes and just buy the next season with it. Like, I mean, like I'm locked in for the, the whole rest of the year with destiny. Cause I bought um, the hundred dollar version. So I get all the seasons for this next year for free. I mean, all I, I, I paid for them in advance. I mean, mm-hmm. um, Call of Duty, I'm going to buy that just because I play it the most. And Diablo, I'll probably buy it. Like, I got the first expansion for free because I bought the $100 version. I got that plus 25 tier skips. So I'm, those are probably going to be the three games I'm always going to buy the Battle Pass for. Um, fuck Apex. I mean, new season of Apex comes out today. Everybody kept asking me if I was going to stream it. Um, the, the answer is No. Probably not today. Probably next week. I'm gonna try to schedule it. I gotta. I just gotta. I gotta find time for that game. All right. Apex is one of those things where I gotta mentally prepare myself these days. Like mm-hmm. it's 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 not like Warzone. Like I gotta mentally prepare myself to play Apex, dog. Like, I have to be prepared for the bullshit of that game, dog. Okay? But I do hope this next season of Apex, I think this is a nice little segue. I do hope this next season of Apex is really good. Um, They're doing a bunch of reworks to Revenant, literally reworking the entire. I don't know if it's a new character exactly. I don't know if they're doing this weird thing where they have like evolutions of characters. So you can play regular Revenant or you can swap to Revenant Reborn. But we have like two different Revenants right now. It's. Or so one, I don't confusing. know. It can, I don't. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna log in today and see what it is for myself. But I think it's just. I honestly do think it's just a rework. Like they just completely redid him, dog. Like his his um his 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 abilities different. His Q is different. All of his shit is di- the only thing that's not different is the climb up the wall shit and crouching thing. Other than that, like they completely changed him. He has like a pounce now where he can like pounce on his enemies and people are debating if his ultimate is too powerful because his ultimate gives him a 75 um, hit point buff um, per kill. So every kill that he gets, he gets 75. I don't know if it stacks. If it does stack, they just kind of killed eight ripped the apex. You know what I mean? Like, it's just it's fucking yeah, weird. Yeah, it to sounds me. like it's broken. <laughs> yeah, but his ultimate gives him like a a seventy five hit point uh, boost in health, um, but it increases his hitbox. So his hitbox is big as shit. But I don't know if that's the trade off that is desirable. We'll have to see because the new season comes out literally as we're recording this podcast. It should be out within like the next three four hours. You know what I mean. New season. I do believe it's season 17. I don't know. I, I haven't played Apex um, next season. Oh, it's 18. It is 18. We're just in 17. This is 18. Um, patch notes here. Yeah, uh, update the Revenant. Um, his passive is Assassin's Instinct. Uh, highlights enemies that are, that are nearby, invisible, or on low health. So that's new. That's new. Plus, he gets to crouch, walk faster, and have improved wall climbing. As tactical, a shadow pounce unleash a powerful pounce forward, hold the charge for further distances, and then his ultimate is forged shadows. Forge a shroud of hardened shadows around you. 
you that blocks direct damage and regenerates after breaking. Your shadows and tactical are refreshed on knockdown. So okay. it's like it's 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 crazy, dog. The map rotation is Broken Moon, Kings Canyon, Olympus. That's not a bad rotation. I'm I'm happy to see that. I mean, I'll take that. I might I might actually have to hop on Apex because they took World's Edge out for a fucking split. I'm so happy, dog. Oh my god. Oh my god. It turns me on, dog. Apparently they're making the matches shorter too as well because the ring sizes have changed. Um, mm-hmm. re- increased 10% in radius per map, resulting in a 20% larger ring, one surface area. You no know other ring sizes change. So mm-hmm. I guess they're trying to make like the early game um a little bit more competitive. Especially nowadays, like last time I played Apex, it seems like everybody dies in the first ring. So it's just kind of one of those things where I don't know if this was a good thing or a bad thing, but we'll have to see, man. I haven't been paying attention too much of Apex. I I, I watch shit on it here and there mm-hmm. just to see how the game's doing because yeah, I'm always going to have a love-hate relationship with that game. But Yeah, that's that's Apex for you. Um, Real quick, real, real, real fast, to go back yeah. on what we just talked about. Yeah. Um, I wanted to look it up um, to confirm another game um, that I fucking really enjoy and really think was decent and dope and fun as fuck. Um, and this is from back in May 15th, uh, this article from GameSpot. Um, one year later, Vampire the Masquerade Blood Hunt is shutting down. So, Oh, no, not yeah, this, one. The, the servers are to remain online, though. So that's probably oh, so it's what, like split yeah, gate. Yeah, so it's, it's staying up, which... That makes me happy because that game is actually a really good MMO, dog. I I really like that game. I I was playing that like probably around May. Um, with uh, no, I had to be earlier than that. I had to be like April, back with my boy Necro. Shout out Necro. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that's another game that, again, man, I don't I don't know what it is. With that game, I know what it is. It's just. I think battle royales are slowly dying out, and I, I, I think the the vampire niche wasn't for everybody. I mean, it yeah, I, I'm not super into vampires, so like, yeah, that, that game kind of turned me off immediately. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. So I think, I think it was one of those things. Now, me, I got into it through Harley. Shout out Harley, cause she had like a little partnership with them, or whatever the case may be, and um, we played that shit. Like, I played the the uh, early access, the open beta, the closed beta. I played all that shit, and I really like that game. So I'm sad to see that shit be what it was. But it's crazy because I did look that up when I was playing it a couple months ago, and they, and they, you know, on Reddit they were talking about like you know people were saying, are we gonna, are we gonna sunset this? Because I, what did they have to do? I think they had to get rid of like they had to get rid of like duos or something like that. Because the, the player count was so low for trios and solos, so they had to cut. Like Call of Duty that, does it. Call of Duty does it now. Where with Warzone, they mm-hmm. rotate out different um, variations and maps. So it's like for one week you'll be able to play Almazra with only quads, duos, and solos, and then the next week you may only be able to do trios duos and solos and then the week after that you may be able to do quads trios and duos they they do it because their player counts are, are low you know what i mean mm-hmm. the player counts are, are low you know what i mean which yeah, is yeah. it's still pretty good because they still rotate three other maps as well two other maps as well with the same stipulations and i have no problem finding games so it was probably a win-win type thing for us but yeah, um, I feel like well, if you're having f- trouble finding trios in a game, right? Yeah, I feel like that should tell you that maybe your game is preferred to play it in in a duo state. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. good maybe like appeal to like whoever's trying to play the game, but yeah, it's it it just sucks that it. It got sunsetted and then it's 
probably not going to get any more new content, which is going to effectively kill the game. Facts. All right, man. So tell me about this motherfucking uh, this Baldur's Gate three, man. Because this you, this is a game that you I ain't think heard about D and D. I think you. I think you're excited for this game. I think you want this game. I want it, but I just don't have time to play it. And it's 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 funny because that's kind of how D and D is in general. <laughs> you don't have time to play. You can't find the time to play it, but you want to so play it's, it. So it's it's made in the Dungeons and Dragons universe, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Baldur's Gate is a location in D and D in in the canon universe. The one that I never play in because I don't I don't run their modules and shit. Um, so so. Oh, that's crazy! I never yeah. knew that. The reason why. So where, what the fuck is Neverwinter then? Because Neverwinter is Winter... also part of D and D. It's another location. It's crazy. There's a, there's a lot. Like even Diablo is like roughly based off of D and D. It is. It is. Yeah. Yeah. So like it's 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 the reason why I'm excited for this game because it captures kind of the randomness aspect of D and D. Like I'm trying not to look too much into the gameplay of it without you know spoiling a bunch of shit for myself but essentially i saw a clip where a dude was in the, in a fight with a squirrel and he killed the squirrel but like he failed to kill the squirrel off the rip so it bit him in the in the leg you know, you know what i mean it's just like why are you into in a fight with a squirrel right now like the fact that you can do that the fact that the squirrel has a chance to actually kill you is crazy. That's yeah. fucking crazy. There's, there's there's scenes where you're apparently you can bang a druid as like a bear or some shit. Like there's just like a bunch of random shit they probably put in there just to just to be more of an immersive RPG um, that you can do. I think it's it's it's, it's immersive, it's, dog. What? <laughs> <laughs> but it's like it's like all right. So it's like you ever just like play a game and you're just like, why can't I just do this thing that seems like you should be able to do mm-hmm. it's kind of like that aspect it's like it seems like they put a lot of effort on just allowing players to do whatever the fuck they want rather than like oh ah, you know we don't have time to develop that so we're gonna do something else you know mm-hmm. we'll just skip over that you know it'd be so cool if we had like pelicans and halo but you know like <laughs> <laughs> we don't have time to figure out the the com- the balancing for this so we're just, we're just gonna not have it in there but it'll be in there for the story like you know what i mean like it's it's like that whereas Baldur's gate is like oh we fleshed out everything everything is fleshed out in Baldur's gate people are loving this fucking game and, I, and it's co-op too um yeah. you play up to four players i think yeah i thought that was I, from what i was told that was like the main the main point of it like is to play with your friends but the b- best part about it is the replayability because every playthrough you play you can play a different class and the story is not going to be the same because it's going to be based off your your choices and shit oh uh, okay yeah so like you can yeah, you gotta have pick a, it up i don't i think i'm gonna pick it up you have a totally different playthrough if you <laughs> ch- choose to be like an evil character or something like that 22 gigabytes is crazy it's a crazy but considering how many like Considering how much is like available to you, I think it's reasonable. I think it's just a big game that's condensed down. Um, and I'm telling you, like, I think it's a contender for game of the year. I haven't played it yet, but I think it's going to be one of the ones that's up there. Like, I thought Breath of the Wild or Starfield was going to take it, but like the amount of shit that you can do in this game is like, hmm. It's gonna. It's definitely gonna be up there. It's definitely gonna win like RPG of the year, though. I feel like yeah, the problem with Breath of the Wild, though, is I. I it's crazy. Cause I, I've been playing it like off stream lately, mm-hmm. but it's just one of those things where it's like Breath of the Wild might be too fucking big, though. Like that shit might be. <laughs> it's the same exact map as the first game, but it it just might be a little too fucking big, man. Well, too big and not much to do, or just too big. Just too big, man. Just too fucking big. But I yeah. am enjoying it. Don't don't get it twisted. It, 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 I still do think it's contender to be game of the year. I just think, me personally, Final Fantasy 16 hits a lot more boxes. The story's really good. I know a lot of people complain about the fact that you got to put the controller down for like 15, 20 minutes at a time. But I play Metal Gear, so that's not a problem. Oh, you talking about the cutscenes? The cutscenes are long. I like cutscenes. 
cutscenes like are they, they are long for this game, dog. Yeah, but and, and the game like, like trolls you sometimes. It's like a long cutscene will end and it'll walk down a hallway and another one will start. It's like, bro, it's like, bro, I really thought I was gonna get to play the game a little bit. Like, what the fuck? No, that's I mean, I don't usually have a problem with that because it's like it's it's I can stop, enjoy the story. Oh, no, for a me, me too, dog. I'm not complaining at all. I fucking love that shit, but I know a lot of people um within the Final Fantasy community are complaining because they, they did say the cutscenes are a lot longer than, you know, previous titles and stuff, which I've experienced because, like... That makes sense because it's, like, probably their first more cinematic game in a while. Yeah, th- hell yeah. This this game is very... Like I said, man, the like, combat is amazing. It's just... 16 hits so many boxes, dog, that it's just like, mm-hmm. all right, this might be game of the year, dog. And then after the last boss fight I just did, mm-hmm. not going to lie, dog, that was, like, the like one of the greatest pieces of... Of of video game ba- boss fights I've ever seen, dog. That shit was just that shit was it was just too out of pocket. It was just too out of pocket. So much shit was happening. I was like, dog, this is crazy. I mm-hmm. love you, okay? but you know, I di- I digress, man. I I may be alone with that. I do want to pick up this Baldur's Gate three though. It does look good. Um, I just gotta I gotta see, man, because I I'm I'm just now starting season. I think season I think, one so, of of Diablo's been out for like two weeks now, so I, yeah. I really want to see if I really like this shit because I made my character. I see what they're doing with the season one thing of Diablo, and I do like it. I do like how every season there's going to be a seasonal quest to run. There's mm. going to be things to do. The world is going to change up a little bit. That's enough to keep me invested in Diablo. I think. I, mean, I think that's going to keep me in, in the game for the long run. Um, it just depends on how long. I just think um, the, the whole make a new character shit every season is kind of annoying to me. But like that's why. I, but that's just a me thing. I, right? yeah, I get it though. I totally get it. And you can literally just make the your your the character from last season. You can just bring them into the new season. You can just remake them again. I know, but I hate having like it feels like why not? Can I just port them over like, at that point? Like you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I felt I felt that way too. But like, trust me, dog. Like it. Like at first, I was like, why are they doing this? Until I made my character, I jumped in the world. I'm like, okay, and seeing you know the content, the battle pass, everything. It's like okay, this is. It's not almost like a brand new game, but it's like a, a, a an expansion almost. We'll see. We'll, I, I, I'm not going to talk too early, but just from what I saw, I was like, okay, there's a lot of content to to be to be had here. Mm-hmm. So, I, you know, we'll save that for the next podcast. You know I mean, we'll definitely save yeah. that for the next podcast. But um, let's move on and, and just make a quick note of something. Um, we've been talking about Final Fantasy 14 on this podcast a little bit. Yeah. Um, speak of the devil, I guess Final Fantasy 14's. Um, Final Fantasy XIV is finally coming to fucking Xbox mm-hmm. ten, 10 years later. All right. It's been 10 years. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of Final Fantasy shit we should talk about. That's why I said I left something off the um the, the show notes because the new expansion also got announced last weekend. Oh shit. In Vegas. Angel was there. It was keeping me up to date with everything. Um, new expansion is coming out. It's called Down Trail. Down Trail. Mm-hmm. Um, it raises the level cap to level 100. Oh, sure. Um, we're getting two new jobs. I think a new area. Um, <clears throat> really, they they really going all out with this expansion. You know what I mean? Um, but I, I should pull all that up to, so I can really tell y'all. If y'all really care, this is for the people that care. Down trail, um, everything about down trail, about down trail, uh, Final Fantasy fourteen. Anything you know about Final Fantasy fourteen? All right, here's everything we know about down trail. Let's see, locations, Yoshida. Also shed some light on uh, we're getting a new area. It's called Yoka uh, Yoke Toro. It's a tropical uh, location, 
New World type location. It looks pretty dope. Um, getting some Icelandic looking place. I don't know how to pronounce that, so I won't. Uh, some place with trees. Uh, new additions. The level cap will be raised from 90 to 100. Two new jobs, one melee DPS job and one range magical DPS. They didn't reveal the job titles. Um, new dungeons, new gear, new alliance raid, new eight player raid, new ultimate raid. There's a lot of new shit, dog. Graphical updates um, because the game is starting to look outdated. Um, they said that, that game's been that, looking outdated for a while now. I mean, I didn't know this until Angel told me the game has been out for like, like dead ass, like 13, 14 years. So, yeah, it's an MMO from like 2010. So, it makes sense. It makes sense. So, um, but yeah, if you Xbox people can finally be a part of it. Um, I'm excited for that because. I, I I do plan on again grinding out my character to level eight, the level sixty, and then maybe getting the subscription. I just gotta see, man. Like I got this game, and then I have Elder Scrolls Online installed, and mm -hmm. I'm kind of going through both of them to see. I'm not coming back to ESO until they come out with like a cool melee class again. Like the the Arcanist doesn't really do it for me. Yeah, that's that's fine. I don't think I'm coming back anytime soon either hey angel got a pc to speak of the devil devil she just got her fucking pc back so yeah if, if final fantasy 14 is coming to xbox so y'all can enjoy it the game is really clunky on consoles i'm just gonna tell y'all that right now i i initially and originally played the game on ps5 and i'm not gonna cap to y'all that game was fucking hardy shit to play on controller dog there's, yeah, it's, there's it's, so many menus and buttons and and stuff like so just you know be aware of that xbox people but you will be able to play for free too which is is dope you'll be able to play for free just do the free trial thing try it out see if you like it it is a good mmo man there's a lot to it it's there's a reason it's been around for 13 years and mm -hmm. it's one of the biggest online gaming communities so I mean, just something, something to, you know, play. Um, we talked about this last podcast, but we'll talk about it again. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 finally got a release date. Um, they, they they announced it last night while I was fucking asleep. Mm -hmm. they, they put out like a 30-minute trailer. They said some words. I mean, the, the ultimate threat is coming and all this shit. I mean, they, they talk about Makarov. Um, we're getting a event in Call of Duty Warzone that is going to be the full um, announcement, I guess, the trailer and stuff. Um, that's reportedly August 17th, so in like a week, literally a week and some change. Um, uh, we're getting it November 10th. So that's perfect. I mean, right right after a nice little star uh, Starfield binge, I have another game to buy. I mean, and it will be that. So, and yes, I'll be buying it. I mean, uh, we'll just have to see. We'll have to see what they do, man. Like this season, you know, I said I was going to talk about season five a little bit. Um, season five is pretty dope. I like it. The new multiplayer maps are cool. It brought Strike back. Remember what Strike is from. Uh, Modern hmm. Warfare 1, they brought that back. Um, shit, they, no, no new, I, not that I noticed in Warzone, no new changes. Um, we got two new guns. We got the, the uh, whatever it's called, Advancer, which is basically the FAMAS from Black Ops 1. It's the Black Ops 1 FAMAS, all right? It's not the Black Ops, it's not the Modern Warfare 2019 FAMAS. This is the... Black Ops 1 from 2010 for Moss that shoots really fucking fast and all that shit. It's not three-round burst. It's really good. Um, and then they dropped the uh, WA-2000, which mm -hmm. was, a, was a sniper rifle in the original Modern Warfare 2. So um, I don't really like that gun too much. I tried it out in Warzone, and it's like 
it's all right for like poking shit, but it's when I could just bring a one shot down sniper rifle, I'm not gonna bring. I mean that uh that shit. DMZ changes. They made a lot of DMZ changes. There's disguises. Um, we got a new faction uh, to do contracts for. Um, oh, and El Mazra has fucking M raps now. So good luck with that, y'all. Like good, good luck with that, man. That is a pain in the ass. You know what an M rap is? It's basically a um, big ass truck with a forty uh, millimeter grenade launcher on it. So yeah. yeah. You already know how toxic toxic that's gonna be. Um, it holds <laughs> six players, so you can literally put a six man inside of it. Um, and it's just a problem, dog. Mm-hmm. It's a problem. There's only one on the map. I believe there's only one on the map. You have to either buy the key or find the key. Um, and then you go to a specific part on the map and get in it. But once you get in it, you basically like run the map. I mean. That shit is a one a one hit down to a player. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's fairly easy to take out though. All right, I got a pretty good YouTube video coming out of me and my boys taking down one, and it was it was pretty epic though. I ain't gonna lie, because they they tried to play with me. You know what I mean, they tried to play with me like like they had me like they were like taunting me and shit. Like, you can mm-hmm. hear them in game chat like, oh man, you need a ride, bro. You need a ride. You're so far away from your team. And then, you know, I just, I mean, do do my Blaze Inferno magic on them. And now they're begging me to pick them up and, you know I mean, bring no them way. on my team. But, you know. That was always funny in DMZ where you just shit on kids and then they beg you to stop. Don't kill yeah. them. Yeah, DMZ is so good now, man. It's, it's like now that I'm playing in game chat a lot more, like I'm having so much fun just troll i'm i have a tiktok out about it today but i've just i've been just trolling dog i've been trolling i've been trolling like i'm that asshole like if, if, if you want listen to this podcast i'm that asshole that's gonna pick you up right and pick you up after i done looted all your shit because they fixed that now so we can we, you can literally go through anybody you fully kill you can look through their bag and shit why they've already played out and then decide if you want to pick them up um, and bring them to your team. So what I do is, you know what I mean? I I make sure to, you know what I mean, sh- strip them down, pause, you know what I mean? Take Yeesh. the gun, take the gun, take the plates, take your kill streaks, whatever you got, give them to my teammates. You know what I mean? I might let you keep your backpack and I might let you keep your plate car- carrier, but you ain't gonna have no plates. So uh I'm gonna pick you up uh, and I'm gonna tell you get the fuck one out of here, you know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> I'm like, you you might want to go extract, man, because like this is over for you. And then I love doing it to like full teams that I know are playing together. So I'll pick up like one of them, you know what I mean, or two of them, especially if I'm already like I got like four people on my on my t- my squad. Cause we usually pick up randoms, like there'll be like a guy who's like, yo, I'm 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 solo, I'm solo, dog. I'm like, all right, bet. Like, I'll pick you up, you know what I mean? A lot of people lie in DMZ too. They be lying. They be like, "Oh, you know, you you killed us all. There's only two of us, and there's four more dudes." You know what I mean, there's no way you gotta like interrogate them or some shit. And you yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I got a TikTok for that. You know what I mean, I know how to I know how to call people people bluff, dog. Dude tried to lie to me and say he was a six stack. I'm like, where y'all the three guys at? Because it's a, it's an even fight now. It's it's three versus three. Like shit. Like. You saying that shit like we supposed to be scared. We just wiped three. So where's the other three at? You mm-hmm. know what I mean? You know, I do my little shit. I'll be like, yo, I'll pick you up if you tell me. Yeah, I'll pick you up if you tell me. I mean, so you can join your team, team back up and shit. I'll, I'll, you know what I mean? I'll do that for you. Oh my God. I mean, I love trolling, man. It's fun. So your new season, I'm liking it a lot. It's dope. It's fun. Um, like I said, no war zone changes. Like, ah. Uh, there, there is one. I can't think of what it is. I think it's um, um, what the fuck is going on? No, that's not a war zone change. Is it? Yeah, no, there's no changes. No changes. No changes. No. Yeah, I mean they didn't, they didn't add more water or get rid of more water. It's just, it's what it is, man. Um, so a game that I was really hyped to come out. It got announced yesterday that they're uh, they're they're, they're bringing it out. To PlayStation and Nintendo Switch. That game is Red Dead Redemption, baby. 
Oh, God. Look at Dead Redemption 1, baby. The first game is finally happening, and it's coming to PS4. But, but, it's a, there's a catch, though. There's a, there's a big catch. Ain't changing nothing. Ain't changing shit. It's literally the PS3 game, all right? It's the PS3 game they're just porting to, uh, I mean, the, the PS4. I mean, so you're going to essentially be buying a PS5 game, which it's full price, by the way. It is it is full fucking price. And oh, no, it's, fi- it's it's 50 bucks. My fault. It's $50, all right? It's, it's $50, all right? The, it, 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 it plays in 30 frames per second. Uh, it's not a remake. And it's, not a, it's not a remaster either. Yeah, it's not a remaster. The it's graphics just the don't same. Look- the same game you can go to GameStop and be like, hey, do you still have this game? Be like, oh, yeah, I still got a copy for the Xbox 360. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's why it's not coming out for PC or 360 or, or Xbox because, you know, they, they already have you. I mean, yeah. um, but unfortunately, I mean. But they want $50 for it, and the game's been out for ages. And um, no. I was hyped when I first seen it until I saw the backlash. I went on Twitter. I'm like, damn, let me go. Let me go look at this, man. Why are people mad about this? And then they were just, this guy literally broke it down. Like, it is literally a PS3 port. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's why it's coming to the Switch. Yeah, uh, I ain't buying that shit. No, <laughs> don't. Like, I ain't buying that shit. No, no, because it's the same shit with The Last of Us remake, where it's like, it's an HD, like, remaster, or it's an HD remake, but it's like the same game. It's like, all right, well, what'd you do to it? And it's like, well, it just made it look prettier. And it's like, oh. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, I wish like, they would have made that game like running the uh the Last of Us 2 engine cuz The Last of Us 2 has a very good engine that the first game probably I wish it had. Yeah, I I don't I don't know, but like the whole remakes re-releases and now this is just a blatant just like port. But yeah, this is a paying port. full price <laughs> if as if it was like 2010, like come on. Yeah, man. don't be <laughs> tripping with this one, dog. This- this don't make no sense. Like that's the shit I expect from Nintendo. Not really. Does it have multiplayer though? If it still has that, if don't it has Red it Dead One online, then we might be talking. We I might, don't think we, it does. We might be talking. I'm right. no, I don't think it does. I don't think I would rather play Red Dead Revolver than Red Dead Online. I'm gonna have to look that up. Does it still have its online? Because and and I don't even think it comes with Undead Nightmare either. Which it is does. Zombie. It does have. It does have un, undead nightmare. Oh, it I, does. I looked at, yeah, I looked it up last. Okay, night. cool. Because I was gonna be like, "Yo, how are you gonna s- just sell me the base game?" Yeah, this guy just said literally what I was about to say. I bought the game of the year edition for ten dollars to play four K on my Xbox One X. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I did the same thing because I I have it on my um series s so people are gonna buy this game it's gonna look like shit because it's so old and they're gonna be be like why do i pay 50 bucks for this game like because it's gonna be a new generation of gamers and shit and they're not gonna understand that it's like no i know it's not like red dead redemption 2 which is probably the more modern version what is that game game. they're porting some game to the switch i forget what it is i was looking at the other day but it's like they, they ported it the right way man where it's like they they literally like how they ported Skyrim to Switch to mm-hmm. where if you use like your amiibos you could like unlock like Link's tunic and shit like that. Yeah, like just small stuff for yeah, platform yeah. Your own. I yeah. forget what I forget what game I forget what game it was, but it was like you could literally play as like Ganondorf. It was it's fucking dope. I can't remember what game it was. Is it Lord of the Rings? Nah, I can't remember what the fuck it was. Is it I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's probably just like Mario or something. Yeah, um, PS4 people, well, PS4, PS5, and Switch people. Switch people, I wouldn't be mad if y'all bought this. I wouldn't be mad. But PlayStation people, don't you, don't you dare fucking buy this shit, man. Go play Red Dead Redemption online so they'll actually pay attention to that that mode. Please do that. <laughs> oh my god, no, they're that the GTA Six is coming out. They don't give a fuck about Red Dead Online. They made their money off of that. Uh, all right, yeah. we got one little piece uh, before you guys get away. I mean, we're not going to talk too long about this, but um, popular Twitch streamer, my guy, my 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 guy, man, 
I, I fuck with this kid, man. I do. I really fuck with him. Um, streamer Kai Sanat uh, arrested after New York giveaway event turns chaotic. Now this shit happened over, I think it was like Friday, and it was it was pretty fucking crazy, dog. I watched a lot of shit on um Twitter about it. Um, you know, I don't know how people are divided on this thing, um, but people are divided. I mean, you know how they feel about him, which is fucking weird because I don't think it has anything to do with him. I think it, you know, with these types of things, you you you've always I have a saying. All right, I'm gonna say it here on the podcast. Uh, mm-hmm. It's 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 me and my boys say it all the time. Is niggas gonna nig, dog? All right, they're gonna nig. They gonna when when niggas get together, they they gonna act like niggas, dog. Like don't expect people to. They, oh my God, you're Kai Sinai. We gotta act. The, no, people are gonna act the fucking fool. You know what I mean, especially when it's a public event like this, mm-hmm. and it's it's just it's it, it turned crazy. So. From my knowledge, he was going to give away like some PS5s and some cash. And he really just wanted to kind of link up with his people because, you know, he's from New York. So he was like, all right, I'm going to come back to my 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 city, show some love. He went to Union Square Park, which is a pretty decent park in um, New York City. Um, and people just kind of went the fuck crazy, dog. Like I'm talking about people were climbing on buildings, vehicles, throwing shit doing all types of things to the point where it, it got crazy, dog. Like, he mm-hmm. had to, he had to, like, drag people out. Like, little kids were there that were, you know, there to meet him. And, yeah. like, he had it to, just- like, drag them out and give them the police and all this shit. And then he ended up getting arrested for inciting of, uh, I believe when There's- I watched the video, he said inciting a riot and um, unlawful gathering in a social place, what they're trying to charge him with. Yeah. Um, I think this is apparently, from what I was told, this isn't the first time this has happened with him specifically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've heard it too. It was like it's, with a rapper. Or something. A, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's just, it's a shame, dog, because I, I'm really rooting for this kid. Not so much that speed dude no more. I used I used to like speed. I mean, but I realize mm-hmm. he just he he's the problem with speed is he has way too many yes men behind him. He's still a kid at the end of the day, so he needs some type of a adulting, right? He needs somebody who's going to be there and be like, bro, like, you you are worth, you know, millions of dollars, or at least a million dollars, a million of dollars, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, you need to learn how to conduct yourself, you know what I mean? But Speed's still a kid, so he does childish things, and he wilds out too much, so I don't really have too many expectations of him. Kai, like, I've, I've seen his story um, I've seen this coming up. Very humble dude. Um, mm-hmm. Even on stream, he, he, he may act like a fool. People always say like, oh, I don't know why anybody watches him. But it's like, it's just, it's one of those things where I can kind of like sympathize with him because it's the same way I kind of carry myself on stream. It's like, I'm just being me. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not doing this shit that people think is wild or crazy because y'all laugh or y'all give me a reaction to it. This is just who I really am. You know what I mean? So it's like, I get where he's coming from. So for this to happen, and and this ain't the first time, like, something kind of, like, fucked up his career. I think this year, um, the beginning of the year, some girl came out and basically said he tried to, you know, like, take advantage of her and stuff. The big R word, the big R word. Um, oh, man. And I think it came out that she said that, you know, he didn't do it or some shit. Like, she dropped the charges or some shit. But it was like, again, that's another event within his career, which could have ended his career. And, and now it's like this. And like I said, there's people that are split on both sides where it's like, oh, man, he should be charged and all this shit and da 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 And it's just like there's people on the other side that are like, bro, like, he had nothing to do with it. Like, all he did was tell people, like, come here, I'm doing a giveaway. Right, and I'm kind of leaning on that side because it just you can't you can't take anybody else's actions as your own. Like what other people decide to do, that's what they decide to do, dog. I mean, like it's it's different, dog. Mm -hmm. It's different, and and it's crazy because not even to get political, y'all motherfuckers can look at this kid. I mean, he's not a kid. He's like 21, 22 years old. I mean, he's he's a man. I mean, you can look at this man and say. 
oh, he incited a, a riot. He needs to be locked the fuck up. But Donald Trump didn't incite a riot and doesn't need to be locked up. Mm-hmm. Like, make it make sense, y'all. Come yeah. on. And I see that argument on 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 Twitter all the time. Like, people are just he needs to be charged. It's just like, dog, you're the same person like that wants fucking Trump out of like. Dog, it just doesn't make sense, man. Like, right. like I said, like I think these types of situations, you you, it's like I said, niggas going niggas going to act like niggas, dog. You cannot get that many niggas together in one fucking area and act like they like we go act civilized, dog. Y'all see how we is in, in fucking uh cookouts and shit. We act a mess, dog. Like, what you think we going to do? And, and and Union fucking square, a thousand people, dog. People going drunk. Too many dickheaded, mindhead, minded people are gonna get together and just start doing dumb shit, and the masses gonna follow. I mean, you know, you know what the saying is: they do anything for clout. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's more or less like him getting charged is like. Because he was kind of irresponsible with it. That's that's essentially yeah, definitely irresponsible with it. I will say that. Like you, you understand. tell a bunch of people. Yeah, first of all, you're the biggest Twitch streamer right now on mm-hmm. the platform. So you hold thousands of people's views. Jinxie, I think it was like Jinxie actually beat him the other day. By the way, oh shit, Jinxie beat him. Jinxie but, is the number but one he's in still, the world right now. He's still big, yeah, and yeah. he's still holding the intention of thousands of millions of people. Shout um, out to Jinxie. But there was roughly estimate 7,000, 10,000 people there. Is a lot 10, of niggas. Yeah, it was a lot of people that showed up for those the giveaway. And I think the fact that he didn't even plan it out, he didn't get a permit to... to yeah, to, yeah, yeah. Like, There's like, a lot of like legal a, shit he yeah, fucked up with. Yeah, it's like you can't be... Like, he's essentially celebrity status. So, like, you can't be that big, walk around town, and then not expect people to flock to you. Yeah. I'm not yeah, yeah. blaming him for how the people conducted themselves, but the situation would never have occurred had he not announced that giveaway. That's yeah. essentially going to be the argument. Yeah, and I kind of course. I kind of do agree with that to an extent, so, but but you kind of yeah, like... Yeah, no, no, no. I, I agree with that, too. Like, again, this is, this is, this is another argument... Or a conversation I had with somebody, right? Mm-hmm. I, I've I've kind of said this multiple times on stream. I don't think I've ever said it on a podcast. I believe in this day and age, like streamers are bigger than like your favorite, like some of your favorite rappers or some of your favorite, you know, celebrities to begin with. Some of these, some of these Twitch, you know, stars, these big guys, they're making more money than a, than than a lot of these like rappers. I mean these 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 artists and shit. So in in a sense, a lot of these streamers, especially him, are bigger than a, a lot of like rappers and celebrities. So it's like mm-hmm. he, he he's got to learn to conduct himself. And it's just like I said with speed. I I don't want to say it, but I do feel like him, Aiden, they have too many people behind them that just let them be like, oh, Yo, you do you and do your fucking thing. I mean, and it just needs, there needs to be somebody to be like, yo, like, let's look at things legally. Let's like have a, I don't know. You need like just a legal expert with them. Yeah, 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 yeah. man. Like dog, you're, you're at that level. Like you, like, like these rappers, these rappers have a legal team. They have a, a legitimate legal team. So when something happens, dog, like with the, 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 with the Travis Scott incident, with his, with his concert, like two years ago, Mm -hmm. dog, he didn't have to say nothing. Like he has a legal team to handle that. Yeah. 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 His legal team probably told him, like, yo, don't say nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, yeah. How, that's how those types of things work, man. When you have a legal team, they're there to handle the 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 the, the responsibility. Yeah, yeah. The responsibility you didn't have, you know what I mean, when it was when it was given to you. So yeah. hopefully he has that. I don't think he's going to they're saying like he could face like a minimum of like three years. I don't think he's facing none of that. No, nah, I think I he's, he's gonna get like hit with a fine yet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, crazy ass fine. But I was scared it's gonna fuck up his Twitch career, man. Like I was really scared about that. You know, I, I mean, think Twitch got him. I think Twitch has it, him on a contract, but I think they're like they're on thin ice after like the last time he got banned, man. And yeah. it's like it's just one of those things where I just he's been very faithful and loyal to Twitch and to his fans and everything. And it's like for for his fans to get out there and wild out like that. It's like, come on, man. Like. 
you make your boy look bad, dog. Like this shit. Yeah. And it's like, I'm not even trying to get political or get racial, man. But it's like, dog, y'all, y'all making a black man look bad, dog. Y'all, and that, that's, I, th- that's I, th- I don't even think it's a that. I think it's just like fan. There are going to be fans that are just unhinged. And unfortunately, he has a lot of them. So, like, yeah, yeah. Like, you, you could go, you could get the same shit out of like probably like a Beyonce concert or Taylor Swift concert or like any, any major artist. Yeah, like, man, there's gonna be just... if they they hosted if they just did a surprise live show in the middle of Union Square, I think the result would have been the same. That people just like freaking the fuck out and shit. Like some people would be like trashing shit up because it's like, oh, now we're like mosh pitting or whatever the fuck. You know yeah, what I mean, think like, the only difference with them people is they would have a a legal team to help them set the things up to make sure that everything is done correctly and safely. Right. I mean, yeah, police that would, call that would police. Be the, that would only be the the difference, but we're just saying, like, as an example, yeah. someone with like a large following. Yeah, man, it sucks though. Hopefully, this doesn't do nothing to his career. I'm I'm really rooting for this. I yeah, think I'm, I'll be all right. Yeah, I'm rooting for this dude, man. Like I said, I watched uh, an interview like two, three, the only, three the weeks reason, ago. The only reason why I think it might fuck up some things is because he's been through this situation before yeah and I, like I, yeah he didn't yeah. learn much from that yeah, exactly that's, that's what i'm scared of because i think i think the 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 same thing happened with speed it was like with speed it was like the first time he did it, it was like yo he's young let it go second time he did it, it was like okay he's young he didn't learn the first time but he's young and i think the third time people were just like dog like he, he, you oh, yeah, no. me? yeah he's just you're doing too much I feel like speed just doesn't give a shit. So like it's 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 whatever. But I feel like Kai can probably he just probably should have been like, yeah, this happened before. I shouldn't do this the way I did it. Instead, he should just be like, he he should definitely invest in that legal team because this it could essentially tank his career on Twitch at least. I mean, he could go to YouTube. He is on Rumble, I believe. Yeah, he's on Rumble. He, yeah, he's on Rumble. So I don't think Rumble is going to get rid of him. Nah, they're doing it. He's he signed. For like I think the next two years doing some show with with speed, they have a show together. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I it's... know Kit can't wait. I can, I know Kit cannot wait for 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 Twitch to let him go, dog. I know Kit cannot fucking wait. Oh my god. Cause Kit gonna sign this shit out of him, dog. You seen what they've been signing the motherfuckers for over there? They gave yeah, fucking um Yeah, get big. Come on, man. What did what they give um what they give that one guy like fifty million or something like that? Oh XQC, yeah, they gave him a shit ton of money. No, it wasn't XQC. It was somebody else. It was it Shroud? I thought it was just Shroud. XQC. I know they gave Amaranth a bag too. Yeah, they gave Amaranth a fucking big bag, dog. Uh, I don't know who it was XQ. Was it XQC? Yeah, he got the biggest payout out of all the streamers in there. Yeah, it's like, a, like a, it's like a 10 year contract. It's not even exclusive, too. Yeah, that's crazy, dog. Oh my god, man, that, that man is set, dog. Yeah, nah, he don't have to worry about money for a while. That's... Yeah, man. I, I mean, the crazy thing is, I think he's mid. I think he is, dog. You could only imagine what they would give Kai, dog. Yeah, um, I don't, it's just, it's just. It they just, get that man a bag, dog. Cause I think XQC is just he he's so corny, dog. He's so corny. I, I Amaranth, I understood why they gave her a bag. Like she's she's the reason. She's the she's the reason behind the behind the bathtub shit. Yeah, yeah. And, Cause the, the, the I don't know if you seen my tweet that I put out the other day. There's like a she's got like a clone that that, that comes uh, out. Oh yeah, that's that swapped out for her essentially yeah. on Twitter. Yeah, dog, and she's she's pushing that TOS to the limits, dog. Like, <laughs> well, Twitch hey, will so like that's I don't know. I mean, that's a whole different discussion, but yeah, yeah. We'll have that on the next one. Definitely have that on the next podcast, man. But yeah, what was you gonna say? Uh, I'm gonna wrap it up because I feel like we've talked about everything. Hell yeah, yeah. I was about to do that. You know what I mean, um, good show. You know what I mean? Make sure yeah. y'all like the video version. This yeah, this this um this podcast won't drop on today. I, I'm, I'm mad I'm saying this. This 
podcast is going to drop on Wednesday instead of Tuesday. Um, so I can, you know, edit it, get it together, do the promo and stuff right for it. So the next episode of the, inf- well, this episode, I, I don't know why I'm telling y'all at the end. Y'all already listened to it. You know what I mean? But, I, <laughs> but um, yeah, man, this is a good episode, man. Make sure you check me and Enite both out respectively on mm-hmm. Twitch. He's back to streaming like pretty consistently, man. So make sure you, you check my guy out, man. Check me out as well. I'm I'm as consistent as I'm gonna be this month. I got some shit planned. I got some shit planned. I mean, we'll talk about that on the next podcast, but I got some some moves I'm making. Um uh make sure you you know like the video version. Um five stars on the Apple Podcast, please, 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 and Spotify as well. Help us out. Um, check out the links below. Um, and yeah, dog, we love y'all, man. Don't go, don't go check out the go check out the mother podcast now. You know what I mean, but make sure you you caught up with all sixty six episodes of this shit, all right? And, and you better had or else, all right? The now I gotta not take a shit. Anything. I got to take a shit. I've been, right, so take a shit. We, I've been turtling I, this whole damn time. Listen, nah, I got to take a shit. So to, we out. I have to go Peace. take the massive dump.